Tonight, we want to warn you, this next story is disturbing and the images are graphic. It's an important look inside the shocking reality a Detroit hospital and its employees are facing each and every day. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson is live to show us what happens when there is more death than Sinai Grace Hospital can handle. Jennifer Ann. Yeah, this really is a difficult story. And, you know, just a week ago, I heard from about a dozen employees inside Sinai Grace, all frustrated, burnt out by what they say was a lack of preparation. They talked about patients lining the hallways. They talked about not having extension cords to plug in vitals monitors. And today we see photos from inside the hospital once again to warn you these images are disturbing. This photo obtained by CNN from anonymous sources from within Sinai Grace Detroit Medical Center shows deceased patients in body bags placed in a sleep study room. And in another even more disturbing photo, at one point sheets wrapped around and draped over bodies stacked on top of each other in what appears to be a storage room. This is the result some hospital workers say of Sinai Grace's lack of preparation and action when the pandemic first emerged in Michigan a month ago. Behind the hospital now, you can see mobile refrigeration units obtained Sinai Grace officials say to help temporarily manage the capacity issue caused by COVID-19. A statement from the hospital responding to these released photos says, in part, Sinai Grace sees more EMS traffic than any other hospital in Metro Detroit and is the only hospital in Northwest Detroit. In addition, there are a large number of nursing homes in the area surrounding the hospital. Patients who pass away at our hospital are treated with respect and dignity, remaining on site until they can be appropriately released. Again, it is our understanding that those photos were taken before the hospital obtained those mobile refrigeration units. The hospital, DMC, did say in that statement that they have hired more than 30 additional staff and they continue to work with staffing agencies to increase their resources to handle the demand. Reporting live, I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News. Still very tough images to see. Jennifer Ann, thank you so much.